Well guys, today is the day. My box sets will finally get a new home. My buddy is coming over here in a few minutes. We're gonna build some shelves to give these great releases a new place to sit. We'll get started right after this. Welcome back to Pops Movie Dungeon. So it's about nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning. Last night was my poker night, so I didn't get in about three o'clock in the morning. So needless to say, I'm dragging just a little bit. But I'm super excited about today. My buddy Ryan and my son Dusty is going to be over here in just a little bit. And we're going to get started on these shelves. I'm really excited to get these up. These are going to be the two shelves that go along my wall. And I'm going to put all my box sets up there. As I'm going to have somewhere to actually display some of the artwork on these box sets. I'm super excited about that. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to my wife who was nice enough to stain these boards for me this week. Um, she loves painting and arts and crafts and stuff like that. So, like I said, she she was a big help, and as always, I want to thank her. But guys, I plan on doing some filming today throughout the process of this, and at the very end, I'll show you guys the final product. But I'll be back then, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll talk to y'all in a bit. All right, guys, I just want to do a once-over across the room real quick and show y'all the reason why we are building these shelves today. <laughs> as you can see, I am just about basically out of space. Everything you see down there on the floor are my box sets. Right now I have nowhere to put them, unfortunately. We're gonna be building a shelf along the length of the wall between that speaker and down by the AC unit down there. And another on this wall, from the speaker down to the end of the wall down there. We're gonna be, we're gonna be building two long shelves to put all the box sets on. It's gonna give me a lot more space. And then down the road in a couple months, we're gonna build a half shelf below the posters, the length of the wall. And the same on this side, the length of the wall. He's going to go around that window somehow. Um, he's talented like that. That's definitely not my specialty. <laughs> but um, once we get done with that, guys, that's going to give me a lot more space for these movies. And so this here will take care of my box set problem. And I will just make do with my space until we can get these built. Hopefully in a couple more months. We just wanted to give you all a general idea of what it looked like beforehand. To give you all a point of reference for um, whenever we get it done later today. And there is the YouTube studio where I struggle to make all my videos. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be back in a bit.
guys, well, we are done. And I have all my box sets in place. And I'm gonna show y'all shelf number one we got built today. As you can see, I got all my box sets displayed. And I'm really happy that I'm able to show some artwork on some of these beautiful box sets. See if I can zoom in for you guys just a little bit there. So that is shelf number one. And I will go ahead and pan around here, guys, and show you all the other shelf. Sorry for the shaky cam. I'm much better at filming there at my desk than I am moving around. So y'all bear with me with this. There's the other shelf. Now these are my box sets that you know, I don't care so much about displaying. So just to give more room, I'm putting them like that. Of course, I got that Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, two of my favorites. And you see I got some room for growth there. So that is shelf number two. I still don't have a whole lot of room on the back shelf. But I did free up a little bit of space. As you can see right there in the corner, not a whole lot, but a little bit. And here's a shot from the back of the room. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at when I'm making videos. Again, sorry for the shaky cam or the glare from the TV, guys. And there is where I struggle to make videos. <laughs> right, guys, one other thing I want to show you, and we're going to be working on this real soon. If you look around the baseboards, I've got those running lights, the Phillips Hue running lights going to there. The reason why they stopped there is I used to have the half shells back here. And I didn't really need them to go past that. Well, now, and I'll show you guys the other side there. But now that we've redone our shelving, I need to go ahead and get lights around the rest of the baseboards. So my plan is to go around under the shelf with those running lights and connect up over here behind the speaker. So then at that point, whatever, I'll have lights around the, the entire bottom of the room. We're gonna get a separate, a separate set of Phillips Hue lights and I am going to run them around the edge of these three display shelves. The one that's got the Season of the Witch poster, the Clint box set, and my Back to the Future stuff. Now I think what I'm gonna end up doing is that shelf there on the very top, it's got my, my Friday the 13th box set and my Jason's. I think what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna end up moving those and I'm gonna use that top shelf to display more movies. So um, that'll give me a lot more space on the shelf and I need shelf for movies more than I need shelf for um, NECA figures. So, um, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about my NECA figures. I'm probably not gonna get any more, um, at least right now. Um, the only ones I plan on getting are the ones for, the, the other one for Jaws, I got Hooper pre-ordered. Um, but other than that, I, I really need, like I said, need space for, for movies more than I need anything else. But, um, like I said, I think the lights around these display shelves will really make everything on that shelf stand out really well. And I think it'll look a lot better in videos. You'll be able to see what I actually have on the shelf right now. It's so dark back there. You really can't see. So that's something I'm really excited about. And I think that's going to be our next project. I've already bought the lights. Now these lights are Philips Hue lights and I'll show y'all a picture of the box there. This is what I'm talking about. Now this here is a, a three foot extension. What you do with these is you buy the base kit that comes with that plug you see plugged in down there. And the lights basically go from there and they kind of daisy chain. And once you get that, all you have to buy are these, um, these things here. Now this here is a three foot section of lights. And this is about 30, 35 bucks a strand. And like I said, this is, um, this is about three feet. So um, just to give you an idea of um, what kind of cost you're looking at. But these, thing here, these things here are really fantastic. I, all the lights I have in my room are Philips Hue lights. They work good with the Alexa. I can come in and just say the command and everything in the room turns on. I can change colors, etc. I also have that Philips Hue gradient light that goes behind my TV. And it also hooks up to the Philips Hue sync box. And, on, and that makes where all the lights will change colors based on what's on the TV screen. So, I mean, to me, it's cool. Um, I was afraid when I first got it set up that it was going to be too distracting watching movies. But I tell you, it really adds a lot to the movies for me. It's something that I really enjoy. But especially like a big action movie, it pulls me deeper into the movie. So um, I'm a big fan, guys. But um, it's been a good day. We got a lot accomplished. You know, I'm very excited and I'm very appreciative for my buddy Ryan, uh, my son Dusty. They were a big help today. They also helped me do this back shelf. 
and I just love them both to death. So they're just, they've done a lot for me to get this room set up the way I want it. Um, carpentry is definitely not my, my forte. So I'm, I'm very lucky and very fortunate to have friends like that, family like that, that are willing to jump in and give me a hand. Um, I'm very, very lucky. So Ryan and Dusty, thank you all so much again. Um, I really appreciate everything. I think it turned out great. But guys, I'm, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will be back real soon with another video. You guys take care.